This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks rocked as yields rolled after Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell signaled he is ready to cut interest rates during his speech in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. All the major indices rose by 1% for the week, with bonds increasing in price across all maturities. The rally was led by interest rate sensitive stocks, with value outperforming growth. REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust, climbed nearly 4%. Small cap stocks rose over 3%. International stocks jumped 3%. And mid cap stocks ended the week 2.5% higher. Last week's economic data confirmed that consumers are still spending. The labor market is fine, and small business owners are more optimistic. And we now have an accommodative Fed with inflation closing in on their 2% target. Value stocks, they hit an all-time record high this week. And growth stocks are slightly below record highs made just last month. Yet many investors are still holding cash, waiting for a market pullback. Money market fund assets have reached an all-time record high of $6.2 trillion. While it's understandable that investors may want to buy at lower prices, this begs the question. Is it a good idea to wait for a pullback after the stock market reaches new highs? Historically, the opposite has often been true. One of my favorite Bobisms is new highs begets new highs. More often than not, new highs have led to more new highs in the stock market. This doesn't mean the equity market won't pull back at some point. It will. However, there's no guarantee it will drop to levels lower than today. Or more importantly, that investors will have the courage to buy at those lower prices. This week, the stock market reminded once again that market timing is a fool's errand. The opportunity cost of lost growth, coupled with declining purchasing power, has resulted in significantly more risk than many investors realized as they chose to remain in cash during the past few years, in the midst of a big, booming bull market. 